I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I am showing you a visual field of a patient who presented with 624 vision in the left eye with 0.9 cup disc ratio and intraocular pressure of 28 millimeter of mercury and he presented first time for the first time so in this video we are discussing how to read and interpret visual fields print out first look at the pattern that which machine is used humphrey medmont or octopus you need to remember the differences of these three mostly humphrey is used so this is a humphrey visual field print out of Muhammad Sadiq, 60 years old, male patient, left eye has been done. Now, if the left eye is not mentioned on the top right, you can check the blind spot. The side on which the blind spot is, that is the side. Like if you here see on the numeric display, the blind spot is on the left so it is the left eye now then you have to see the strategy whether testing algorithm is threshold which is long take 15 to 20 minutes per eye or CETA standard or CETA fast like here it is CETA fast which has been done with less than nine minutes time and how much area has been tested it can be either 30 dash to 30 degree or 24 dash to 24 degree central area or 10 degree in the 10 dash to central 10 degree on fixation so here 30 dash 2 has been done then comes the most important that whether the visual field printout which has been given to you is reliable or not now check the reliability indices false positives false negatives and fixation losses all should be less than one third or 33 percent to make the test reliable false positive means that the uh, scale will be very pale trigger happy patient who is pressing the button without uh, uh, visualizing the stimulus false negative means that the patient gets tired and he misses uh, a spot where previously he has clicked uh, and fixation losses means that how much the patient moves the eyes during the test so if you look at his fixation losses uh, zero false positive one and false negative zero so it is a very highly reliable test now comes to the gray scale on the right and numeric display on the left now numeric display shows measured or estimated threshold in decibels at each point just look at 28 9 and that's the triangle is the blind spot and here the gray scale shows you that periphery is depressed with black color and center is white which is the seeing area the central vision is spared and you can see some temporal island as well so grayscale is very important in a reliable test it will give you the real picture and uh, the 20 de 24 decibels 9 decibels in the numeric display that how much intensity was required for patient at this point to look then comes the total deviation middle left display it shows the values of this patient when compared with the age matched normal individuals negative values shows decreased sensitivity and uh, positive values shows high sensitivity now if you look at the uh, total deviation too much negative values so it is a general generally depressed visual fields this patient have severely reduced sensitivities all negative so you can see these in the low left lower display all dark squares and then comes to the middle right pattern standard deviation 
pattern deviation it is adjusted or corrected for any generalized decreased in sensitivity diseases like vitreous hemorrhage dense cataract central opacity corneal opacity and it demonstrates the localized defect so again total deviation is comparable to the pattern deviation means that there is no generalized defect visual fields are actually reliably depressed in pattern deviation as well black squares means that the probability that this defect is wrong is less than half percent glaucoma hemiphil is rightly outside the normal limits um, uh, because uh, it can be wrongly outside the normal limits because it compares the superior hemifield with inferior hemifield so if there is a branch retinal vein occlusion it can also comes outside the normal limits mean deviation if mean deviation is within uh, 6 it is mild reduction if between 6 to 12 moderate field effects and if more than 12 like in our patient it is 20 so it shows advanced glaucomatous damage or severe visual field depression pattern standard deviation usually normally is less than 4 in mild defects here it is 10 which means more severe defects so this visual field is uh, visual field printout is reliable and shows severely depressed visual fields consistent with advanced glaucomatous uh, damage showing central tunnel vision with temporal sparing of the island of vision so that's how you interpret uh, the visual field printout if it comes uh, in the exams and uh, in the next videos uh, we will tell you the different uh, patterns that you can get on the gray scale what are the differences between neurological and glaucomatous field effects and uh, in detail the reliability indices